Magandang buhay! Welcome back to Virtual Class. I'm Teacher Reg, your virtual teacher in Science Grade 4. In today's lesson, you will be learning about the use of water from different sources in the context of daily activities. Are you ready for a new lesson? Great! Let's get started! At the end of this lesson, you are able to explain the use of water from different sources in the context of daily activities. Water comes from different sources. It may come from open and closed sources. Or it may also come from a small body of water or a big body of water. And drain water comes from clouds. There are three main sources of water. The kind of water depends on its source. The three different kinds of water are sea water, fresh water, and ground water. Sea water is salty. It has a large amount of salt. It is found in the seas and oceans. Sea water can be classified as hard water. Next is fresh water. Some portion of Earth's fresh water comes from surface water. This is found in open but small bodies of water. Surface water comes mostly from rain. Fresh water found in small bodies of water like waterfalls, ponds, creeks, and rivers. In cold countries, it also comes from snow. Great quantities of snow accumulate on highlands and mountains during winter. In spring, the snow melts and runs off into surface water. Next is groundwater. It is found beneath the Earth's surface. It comes from water that seeps into the ground. These accumulate in the underground layer called water table. Groundwater is the safe source of water. It is considered the cleanest water and contains plenty of dissolved minerals which the human body needs. Springs are openings of the groundwater directly to the Earth's surface. Now, let's check if you understand our discussion about the different sources of water. Let's have our exercise 1. Study the picture or the video and describe each by choosing your answer in the boxes. Are you ready? Great! Let's get started! So we have our first video and the choices. First, ships and motorboats travel here. Second, water source coming from a high point falling to the stream or river. It is the home for millions of species. The water is salty. Now choose your answer that best describes the video. And the correct answers are Ships and boat motorboats travel here. It is the home for millions of species. And lastly, the water is salty. Second video and the choices. An example of fresh water that comes from the mountain. Source of hydroelectric power. It serves as a source of irrigation for agricultural lands. The water is salty. Choose your answer that best describes the video. And the correct answers are It is the source of hydroelectric power and it serves as a source of irrigation for agricultural lands. Next is our third video and the choices. Ships and motorboats travel here. 
It is an example of fresh water that comes from the mountain. The water is salty. Some people wash their clothes here. Choose your answer that best describes the video. And the correct answers are It is an example of fresh water that comes from the mountain. And some people wash their clothes here. Now let's try to answer the following questions. Number one. What are the sources of water as shown on the videos? So we have the first video is about sea water. Second is the spring from the groundwater. And the third video is a river. Number two, there are different uses of water. Can you give the use of water for domestic use and industrial use? Domestic use includes water that is used in the home every day, including water for drinking, for cleaning, for preparation and cooking food, for watering plants, for washing clothes, and for baking, for generation of hydroelectricity, for washing car and other household purposes. Industrial water is used for washing, cooling, processing, transporting, diluting, or fabricating of a product. The maximum amount of water is used in the production of chemical, paper, and food. Are you able to answer the questions? Great! Did you get the correct descriptions for each video presented? Excellent! Now let's have our exercise too. Read each item carefully and choose the letter of your answer. Are you ready? Okay, let's get started. Number one, which of the following is not a kind of water? A, fresh water. B, sea water. C, ground water and D, water vapor. The correct answer is letter D, water vapor. Number two, which kind of water is found beneath the Earth's surface? A, fresh water. B, sea water. C, ground water. And D, water vapor. The correct answer is letter C, ground water. Number three, which of the following sources of water contains a large amount of dissolved salt? A, lake. B, sea. C, river. D, falls. The correct answer is letter B, C. Number four, what should you do to conserve water when brushing your teeth? A. Let the water flow from the faucet while brushing. B. Use a glass of water for rinsing your mouth. C. Use plenty of toothpaste. And D. All of the above. And the correct answer is letter B. Use a glass of water for rinsing your mouth. Number 5. Which of the following helps conserve water when taking a bath? A. Take a shower for a long time to enjoy water. B. Take a shower using much water in the storage drum. C. Take a shower and leave the faucet running to clean the bathroom. D. Take a shower for at least 5 minutes to cool down and clean your body. And the correct answer is letter D. Take a shower for at least 5 minutes to cool down and clean your body. Did you get the correct answers? Very good! 
During summers, our bodies try to cool down through the natural process of sweating, which in turn can cause dehydration. This makes it essential for us to drink more water, as less water content in the body can lead to various ailments. Drink your way to better health. So, drink water! That's all for today. I hope you learned something new today. Again, I'm Teacher Reg, your virtual teacher in Science Grade 4.